Kitchen, it's me, your host, Paul, Paul Diaz, there. So guys, we're having a Puerto Rican recipe, and this was given to me by my cousin, Manuel Marrero, and he lives, he's uh, in the Sunshine State of Florida, United States, so a big applause, applause for him. This is for you, my brother. So he's the one who gave me the, the recipe. So, this is very, very popular, guys. This sandwich among Puerto Rican, Latin people, uh, places like uh, the southern parts of the United States, New York also, Florida, Puerto Rico, the Caribbean. It's very popular. They keep growing more and more. So, this is the ingredient that consists all about. For this, we have, we're going to use one loaf of, uh, one loaf of uh, French bread. I'm going to use four slices of Swiss cheese. I'm going to use four ounces of the bone uh, chicken, four ounces of sliced ham. I'm going to use four uh, ounces of ground beef. Along with that, uh, two leaves of uh, cabbage and two slices of tomato, salt and pepper to taste and cooking oil along with that and another special feature that we're gonna make here for the first time I'm gonna make the mayo ketchup this is the spread that we're gonna use for the sandwich mayo ketchup is a combination of mayonnaise and ketchup this and it was created back home so um, and let's get down guys let's get started to make this recipe and show you the details of what we're gonna do now we also uh, to start cooking the chicken and the ground beef. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna chop uh, some on, uh, little onion here. One, one small onion, this is the size of a small onion. We're gonna chop it finely. And also four cloves of garlic. We're gonna chop this all together, mince it nicely. For the cooking, all the chicken and the beef. And we're gonna set it aside. So now we got all this together, guys. Let's get start. All right, guys. So we're gonna start cooking now the main ingredient for the tripleta sandwich. So I'm warming up the skillet right now, and I'm gonna start adding now the cooking oil. And then I'm gonna add now uh, the garlic and the onion that we chopped a few minutes ago. We're gonna sow them a little bit, like a minute at least. As we sow that, the very first thing we're gonna add, we're gonna add the chicken. Yeah, we're gonna add the chicken now. Now we're gonna start cooking the chicken and we're gonna let it cook for at least we're gonna let it cook for at least a few minutes before we add the ground meat. Guys, now the next thing will be we're gonna add the the ground beef. We're gonna cook the ground beef now as well. And we're gonna add now the the salt and pepper. All right. I'm gonna let them cook for a while. 
So we're going to have some little water, not too much. So it will cook even better. Little water. Sit. And now while we're cooking, uh, while we're cooking the, the ground beef along with the chicken, now we're going to, we're going to do now the mayo ketchup. So now let's do the mayo ketchup. So for the mayo ketchup, we're going to need a stainless steel bowl or a small bowl. On a, you can find a small bowl where you can put all the ingredients together. That's what we're going to use. We're going to start adding now the, the two, two tablespoons of mayonnaise. For that amount of bread, this is what we're going to need. Now we're gonna add the, we're gonna add now the two tablespoon of ketchup. We're gonna add now the one teaspoon of lemon juice. One teaspoon of garlic powder. And now we're gonna stir everything up. We're gonna stir everything up. Until it made this kind of consistency. It become the color it gets like a pink. You see, like a pink color. And now we're gonna do now, uh, we're gonna set it aside. And we're gonna check now on the chicken, how it's doing. All right, so I think I'm gonna need a little more cooking. Let's give him uh, at least uh, seven more minutes. Let's give him seven more minutes, guys. And then I get back. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now, uh, before we start in assembling the sandwich, I'm gonna put some of the, the, the cabbage for a minute or two. While we start to ensemble the, the sandwich, we're gonna put this now along with a mixture of the, of the chicken and the beef. Cook a little more together. We cook this now. So while we continue to simmer a little more, we're gonna start to ensemble now the sandwich. We're gonna start putting now the the spread. Mayo ketchup spread. Look sensation. Oh man. All right. All right, that's ready. So now you're going to put the cheese on top. Cheese on top. We're gonna put now the, the lettuce, yeah, the tomatoes. And now we're gonna put the ham. Four slices, and now we're gonna start adding now the, the chicken and the beef. Yeah, the cabbage. All right. All right now. Now we're gonna finish. Continue. Now 
we continue here. And this is ready, guys. We're gonna put this all together. It's quite big. It's quite big. Oh my goodness. There you are, guys. La tripleta. Look at how big it looks like, guys. It look completely. I, I, I pack it, guys, to the max. Look at the size of this. Three or four people can eat out of this sandwich, guys. La tripleta. All right, guys, the tripleta is done, so I'm going to try it now. I took a piece here. Guys, in a way, I think I overdid what you can do, what you, can do uh, you can instead divide the recipe and only do half. You can do only, if it only is for you only, I think you can do only half a uh, loaf of bread, half of the ingredients, and you'll be good also. But I make like, I'm going to serve my family later, I make it big. Let's try it again. Just like the one, it takes practically like the, the one I used to buy by, uh, back home in the launch wagon near the college. Almost the same. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's very savory, guys. Savory, and you got my guy so many flavors. The ground beef, the chicken, the ham, the mayo ketchup give a special taste. Take like a little dressing, like a little special dressing that you're gonna that make. I'm gonna give you a lot of, gonna make a lot of difference in flavor. We take like a little dressing, like a homemade dressing, really good guys, and the cheese and the bread all together, very good guys. So guys, that will be it for my cooking review for this. I will see you guys soon for another cooking review. And don't forget to subscribe and please hit the notification bell. And every time I upload a video, you'll be the first to get notified. Take care of yourself, guys.